Hello and welcome to week 12 of the Franken Scrap Crochet Along. And this week we're making the Staggered Pairs piece. This is a pretty little stitch that it looks like an upside down V stitch. And we're going to start this piece by making a foundation chain of 32. To start our staggered pairs, we're going to start in the fourth chain from our hook. Now our turning chain will count as our first stitch, so I've gone ahead and marked the first chain from our hook. But we start our first staggered pair in the fourth chain. Three, four. So we start as if we're making a double crochet, pull through the first two loops, leave two loops on your hook, yarn over, in the next chain do the same, yarn over, pull up a stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops. Three loops left on your hook, yarn over, pull through both. So over the first two chains, uh, the fourth and fifth from your hook, you've just made a double crochet two together. And it's that that makes a staggered pair, it's just a double crochet two together. And then we chain one. So in the next two chains we're going to do another double crochet two together. So you start in one chain and you finish in the second. And chain, oops, chain one. So always make a chain one between your double crochet two together. And for row one we're going to start our next pair in the next chain over. So start your double crochet, leave two loops on your hook, then yarn over into the next chain. Start your double crochet, leave three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So you make these lovely pairs, then chain one. You're going to do this all the way across your foundation chain until you have one stitch left. Okay, so I've made my last uh, double crochet two together, my staggered pair, chain one, and in that last stitch I'm going to make a double crochet. And that's row one of the staggered pairs. So now I'm going to turn chain one and I'm going to make a double crochet turning chain in the first stitch. I'm going to pop a stitch marker in. Okay so in this row we're going to be making the double crochet two together again but this time we're going to be working into the chain spaces. So into the first chain space and yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, leave the two loops on my hook. Yarn over, I'm going to go into the next chain space. I'm not going to work into the top of the staggered pair, I'm working into the chain space. Okay, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two loops, three loops left on my hook, yarn over, pull through three, chain one. Okay, so this time the double crochet two together is split. And then we start the next one. But in this row, we are making them starting the next pair in the same chain space we finished the last one. So we finished the last double crochet two together in here, and I'm going to start the next double crochet two together in there. And then I'm going to finish it in the next chain space over. and chain one. Okay. And you continue that across your row. You always start your next double crochet two together in the same chain space as you finished the last one. Okay, then move over to the next one to finish the double crochet two together and chain one. Okay, so I've finished working in my last one and I've got my next pair here and then the end here. I'm going to do one more double crochet two together. I'll start there and then I'm going to work into the space between my turning chain and my first double crochet two together in the row below. And then to make sure our stitch count stays 
good. I'm going to make a double crochet in the last stitch of the row. So you will start and end your rows with a double crochet. So after for row two and up, you will always make your double crochet, your double crochet two together into the chain spaces with a double crochet at either end. So the stack of pairs is a repeat of row two. You just keep repeating row two for as many rows as you need. So to finish your staggered pairs piece, you're going to be repeating row two for a total of 22 rows. Once you finish row 22, you can cut off and weave in your ends, and then it's time to join this piece to the rest of your Franken scrap. If you need to see the layout, you can click the link below this video, and it will take you to the blog post to show you how each piece is laid out. Once you've joined your pieces, that's week 12 complete. Don't forget the Facebook group is there for you if you have any questions or want to show off your squares. The link is below the video. So thank you for joining us and I shall see you next week for the next piece. Bye for now.